Good evening. Oh, sorry, good noon, world. This is Ivan Amara. I'm off again today. I'm off again today, so... Today I get paid, so... I get direct deposit next paycheck. This paycheck, I'm still getting checks, so the bank's going to freeze my account. I was worried, because I was texting my boss, obviously. He's like, Ivan, you get your direct deposit next paycheck. And I thought I wasn't getting paid yet. I'm like, oh, no, am I not getting paid? I have to wait two more weeks for my check. He called me. He's like, no, Ivan. He's like, you're, you're still getting your check, but your direct deposit's next week. I'm like, okay. I was a bit worried because two weeks not get, with no paycheck is, sucks, obviously. So I have to go pick up my check. After after this, I'll, I'll go pick up my check. I also got to go renew my health card. And I have to call. Well, I have to make a lot of calls, man. I got to call for my medication. I have to call Welfare, uh, Welfare Quebec for the review of me owning, owing them money. Yeah, I have to call them by December 5th. I'll tell them, yeah, the week you guys sent me the check was the very week I got paid. Yeah, I believe, right? Yeah. The week I got paid was the, was, 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 was the week. Let me sent me the check, I think. Yeah. Or I got it a week before, I don't remember. My guys, like, why the fuck do I owe you seven twenty dollars, man? Like, you try to drain money. Like now, you're no longer covering me for med medication. Now you're saying I owe you seven twenty dollars. You guys are fucking crazy people. No. But I applied for review, so hopefully they, they they maybe reduce my amount or they veto it. I don't know. I no longer owe Wolf back seven twenty dollars. And if I have to pay them back, I'll pay. I'll put sixty a paycheck towards paying them off. Sarah. I also got a call. Welfare Quebec gave me a number for for the government, the Quebec government, to cover me. Obviously, because you have the you have Welfare Quebec, you also have a other other another company that can cover you for free dental medical. They gave me the number. You have to I have to call that number obviously before my thing expires in December. I have enough medication until like mid December, but. I have to call them that way. Otherwise, I have to stop paying for my medication, man. I can't afford it. That's why I'll make a lot of calls. This video might be might not be long, guys. It might be 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, the boss is giving me like no shifts. What the fuck's going on here? I only worked one shift this week so far, man. Yeah, I only worked Tuesday. He gave me Monday, Wednesday, Thursday off. 
and I work tomorrow at 8.30. Hopefully next week I get five shifts. Oh wait, I gotta get a paycheck. Yeah. How much money do you want to at least make? I want to at least make eight hundred dollars a paycheck. Eight hundred plus. I want to make. Just starting next year, I want to save four hundred dollars for my bike. Four hundred a paycheck, so eight hundred a month. By June, July, I want to buy my bike. I want to buy my bike next year, obviously. A seven thousand dollar bike. Who's there? God, you just say yes. Now enjoy the show. Then at round two thirty, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the to my workplace and and get my check. Obviously, so I still get checked this paycheck, but next paycheck I get direct deposit. This check is very annoying because the bank always freezes my money, man. It's really annoying. That's why I want to get get paid direct deposit. Is there? there. Yeah, my bike loses weight. I didn't, I didn't go for a walk yesterday. I was too tired, but I'll go tonight. Yeah. I'll go a good five to seven days a week on uh, walking at uh, my block. I'll go tonight. I'll go Friday. I'll go Saturday. I'll go Sunday. That's five days. And then next Monday, I'll go again. And I might maybe... I can easily walk seven days a week. It's not a problem. I can, I can walk seven days a week. Walking, listening to music is fun. It's actually really fun. Whereas going on the travel is not as fun, obviously. Today's my cheat day. I'm gonna get donair. Donair's healthy. I'm I'm done with pizza. Pizza's too fattening. Get donair. Get a donair, a chicken donair. That's good with with with, 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 uh, with drinks. That's really good. Sarah? My window's done now. They renovated my window. So now, yesterday I cleaned my room. It was full of dust and everything. I have to, I have to sweep it. I have to mop it. I had to dust the counters. <laughs> yeah. I right, you clean your room a lot? Yeah, I clean my room every, like, I don't know, every month and a half, every two months I clean my room. Because it gets dirty, obviously. I clean it, I mop it, I sweep it. And once I lose the weight, I'm going to get rid of a lot of my clothes. I'm going to buy a new wardrobe for myself. I'm going to go to Walmart. Walmart has cheap clothes. Spend a good 100 bucks there. Get myself some nice clothes. <laughs> Will you go there? I'll go there like once a month and just buy my clothes. That way I build my wardrobe. I don't need too, too, too much clothes, but 
I'll go there for a few months and I'll buy their pants, buy their, 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 their t-shirts, their v-necks, their long sleeves, their pants, shoes, I'll go to more better places to get my shoes. Walmart doesn't have the best shoes, but you know, you can get their nice, uh, they have pretty nice clothes. For, for an average person, Walmart has nice clothes, if you're an average person. Whereas if you're rich, you go to the, the top-notch stores, like the Louis Vuittons, the Ralph Lauren, you know what I'm saying? The clothing zones in the mall, you go to those top-notch stores, because you can afford it, if you're rich, obviously. You want to have a me just queen with me. We're gonna be going to the to, 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 to the best stores in that group. And the mall has all mall the, the best clothing stores are in the malls. That's where all the best clothing stores are. Yeah, the mall, right? The mall or like downtown area, those were that's where they sell all the best clothes. Especially the mall. The clothing stores in the mall, they sell like high end clothing. I'm sorry. High end clothing, yeah. Everything's cheap. Me and VG see an $800 uh, leather jacket. We see an $800 jacket. An $800 pair of pants. An $800 outfit. We can easily afford it. Whereas the average person can't afford that. They can afford it, but they only like one item, right? They can get a $500 pad. That's a good chunk of their money gone. They can't afford to get a bunch of clothes. They can get like one, one pair of clothing. And the next paycheck, they come back, they buy another pair of clothing. That's how, that's how they build their wardrobe, the average person. Who makes 50, 60, 40K a year, some Sarah. I'm not even saying, yeah. Whereas if you're, if you're a multi-millionaire or a billionaire, you, that's all pocket change. You can easily afford it. Some Sarah. I'm going to go make a coffee, guys, soon. Soon I'm going to make a coffee, obviously. Yeah, I'm bummed out. I'm not paid direct deposit, man. I thought the boss would pay me direct deposit. But I mean, he's alive, and you're, st you're still getting your check. I'm like, oh, man. Like, check means I have to, the bank's going to freeze my money. Yeah. That's why I'm not paying the actors and crewmen check from my company. I'm paying them direct deposit because if you pay them check, the bank will freeze your money. I believe it's that that's how it's like all around the world. The bank automatically freezes your money. The bank will automatically freeze your money if you pay if you get paid check. That's why nowadays everyone gets direct deposit. That's how it works. Because direct deposit, the bank doesn't freeze your money. Obviously. The money gets wired directly into your account. That's the best way to do it, obviously. You don't have to worry about actors. You don't have to worry about actors losing their check. See what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about the actors losing their check, obviously. And if, if an actor loses his check, you know what I'm saying? You have to pay him, obviously. You sign a contract, you're entitled to... Everyone who works for you, you're entitled to pay them. They sign a contract. That, that money that, that they sign, that's their money. They, you owe them money. That's why never pay them the check, pay them direct deposit. You don't you don't want to get this horrific news. This actor tells me, yeah, I even I lost my check. The crewman says he lost his check, and then you have to take the take a loss. And I can easily afford it, obviously, but you have to take money out of your own account and put it in the business account to pay them. Which you don't want to do. The money that I'm putting in the budget of the movie, that's all going towards the, the movie project and the salaries. You don't want to take out an extra 500 grand of your own money to pay pay off these guys. You just lost like $500,000 because an actor lost his check. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. That's why you pay the 
uh, the Hollywood actors and the Caribbean uh, check don't pay them direct deposit. I'm sorry, I know what I'm doing. Brad Brad's contract, pay him direct deposit, don't pay him check, as the bank will freeze his money, obviously. How much does the bank freeze your money? They freeze it like, 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 uh, like the majority of it they freeze. And you only have the, you, more, you might only have maybe a couple hundred, hundred dollars to spend. I think it depends on how much you get paid. Because I only get paid like 900, 800 every two weeks, the bank freezes, I only have 200 to spend for, for one week. Whereas if you get paid something crazy like in the millions, you might maybe, they might freeze, you get paid like a $120,000 check, but you might only have maybe 20K to spend for one week and then the rest of your money is unfrozen. For, but some, some actors have bills to pay. That's why don't pay them direct deposit. there because while the actors film they're going to be touching a bit of their money obviously that they're making because they have bills to pay at home and all that stuff that's how it works Sarah yeah <laughs> a little bit of it they'll touch a little bit of it because they have they have car payments they have bills they have like while they're working they still have to pay their bills at home and all that stuff they, because nowadays you can pay your bills online 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 banking right they still have to pay the bills that's why you pay them. They're going to be touching a little bit of their money. That's why you, you need to pay them direct deposit. You can't afford to have them having their account frozen all stuff. And if the account freezes, that's out of my control. I can't control that. That's why you have to pay them direct deposit. I'm Sarah. Yeah. So I mean, everyone, yeah, everyone gets paid direct deposit. Me and Vijay get paid uh, direct deposit too, but it, it's uh, no. Me and Vijay get paid um, royalties via Amazon. So how it works is the money gets wired into our Amazon Pay account. It's like PayPal, right? We we we, we, we Amazon. Once I sign with Amazon, yeah, I want you guys to help. I, once I sign with Amazon, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, the, the guys help me me and Vijay set up our our, our Amazon. Okay, how, how how are you guys gonna pay us? Ivan will pay you uh, royalties, monthly royalties, whatever it is. On, and you, you have to create an Amazon Pay account. Okay, I create an Amazon Pay account. And I want you guys to deactivate the hidden fees in this Amazon Pay account. As we, I, I sign a contract, no hidden fees. I don't want you taking a dollar of, you know, I don't want you taking like 1% of, 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 of the royalty payments. And you, I know you guys end up making a shitload of money. No, man. You have to deactivate the hidden fees. If you breach the contract, guys, you, you, if you breach the contract, guys, what? I, I'm terminating, terminating my, 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 my partnership with you. I release it online and you're missing out on the billions. I'm sorry. It's that simple. That's why they'll listen to me, obviously. Guys, seriously, don't charge any me and VJ any hidden fees, man. There's nothing worse than Amazon charging like a dollar per, 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 per royalty check. You mean VJ get two royalty checks and Amazon just made like, what? They just made like $500, $700 million off you and VJ. They ripped you off. Like, you get, you're already making enough, you get your 28, I get my 72%, that's how it works. But they're going to have to help me and set up our Amazon Pay, it's called Amazon Pay, right? It's like PayPal, you set up an Amazon Pay account, and then Amazon will, all the money will get, will get, will, will get put in that account. And then me and Vijay have to transfer that money in our, in our, in, 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 in our personal account. That money all goes to us. The billions goes to us. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> What? The twelve billion, thirteen billion dollars goes to me, VJ. <coughs> it's why in our account, I'm like, <gasps> holy shit! <coughs> we think, I we made our money back. Yeah, we made our money back. We invested a good like what? A billion, like I don't know, six dollars of our own money for everything, all those costs, and we made like thirty million dollars. We made our money back. It's a good investment. Obviously, and that money that we made, we can now use that to. to to, to fund the Great Escape, obviously. Put six eighty million million towards the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves. Or the Matrix, but I mean, I'm also like, you will do the Great Escape, right? That's how it works. I'm Sarah? Yeah. So you don't want an actor or an agent, even the agents, too. The agents are taking 10, 50% of the actor's earnings. You don't want agents complaining about their check, too, right? No, you, the agents are making a lot of money, too. 
they're making their 400, 800 million, 5, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 7 million, $6 million off the actors. Depending on the bigger agencies, the agents are making the dough. They're making their millions, like they're three, four, five, six, seven, eight million dollars off of actors. A lot of money. <laughs> Ten million, yeah, that's why you, you, you have to pay them direct deposit. That's why I'm going to have the engineer design a super advanced payment system for the, uh, for the actors, obviously. Is that right? And George will help me. Okay, I want I wanted the best movie payment system ever, uh, guys. Okay, I want a thing whereby like the the accountant punches in the actor's salary, and then it, and then you get like 10, 50 percent deductions. You have this you have percentage amount five put five ten fifteen twenty percent because some agents even take twenty percent of the actor's earnings in Hollywood. It just depends. It's five to twenty percent, depending on the agent, obviously. And the, 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 if 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 the actor owes the agent ten percent. You put the 10% in the system and then the 10% gets deducted off the actor's salary. And then that, you type in the agent's, agent's, and you type in the, uh, the agent's code and the money, it's something advanced. And the money now goes to the agent's account, something like that. Hollywood obviously has something like that, right? But I think in Hollywood, they pay the actor's check, I think. I don't know. I don't think the, I don't think, I know in, I know in the pro, in pro sports, the, uh, the, uh, the, the players get paid check, I heard. So I'm sorry, they, 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 they both get paid a uh, check. Don't pay your fucking actors a check. No, you have to pay them uh, a, a direct deposit. Man. Don't pay them a check, man. You can lose your, your, your check, man. That's why I'm going to tell you, the accountant, you have to triple check it. Once you punch in everything, I want you going over it three times very carefully. As if you make typo errors and, and people get paid more and pay less, chances are I'm going to fire you, man. Uh, you'll still get your $11 million, you sign your contract, but once the movie project's over, I'm hiring someone else. Hence why, keep the, the, the account in check, obviously, Sarah. Hence That's why you got to put a good, like, sister gate into an advanced payment system for the end. The software engineers are going to design the payment system for my company. Something top-notch, yeah. The crewmen get their one fifty k the head chefs get their four three thousand dollars and the money gets wired by weekly into their account, yeah. Obviously. That way everyone's happy and everyone benefits obviously. I'm sorry. No doing. Especially Hollywood actors. The Hollywood actors are greedy fucking people. They want they want that money so bad. And so if you you don't want to rip them off and, and, and have and, and rip them off and and, and, and 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 by having the accounts making typo errors. And the actor gets paid less and he's complaining about his check. Yeah. The actor will know he got ripped off if he gets a different check. You, I'm going to tell the, 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 the account, look, man, I want an equal bi-weekly check for the for all the crewmen and all the actors. It has to be a weekly a weekly bi-weekly check. So I'm saying, huh? I don't do it. You have to do that. That way they don't complain. If they get a different check, if they get more, they get less. They'll know they got ripped off. That's why you... You divide equally in a system over the, the, I don't know, the three, four months of shooting, uh, one year of shooting, I'm saying that, you t the checks divide equally over the, 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 the term of the movie, term of production. Actors are getting paid while, while they're working during production, they get paid. Obviously. And I'm going to tell the engineer, and when they get paid, they get this email confirmation, you have received the payments. And they click on that, and it shows everything: the agents' deductions, the tax deductions, their payments. Some Sarah. It shows their check. It shows how much money went to taxes. Like when I get paid check um, at Local Forty, they give me this statement of of the taxes I paid and everything. Yeah, some of that for 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 for, for me too, for my company. You have this this the agents ten percent went to your agent. All the agents have to get paid too. Obviously, ten percent goes to your to your business manager, your agent, and then and, and, and the money, the rest of the money goes to you. And then you also have your taxes. You have to pay your taxes, man. You don't want to get in trouble with the law. Pay your fucking taxes, obviously. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in trouble with the government. You got to pay your taxes. That's why you got to register your business for taxes when you start scratching the table with agents. I'm sorry.
Whereas me and Regent don't have to pay shit to any agents because we're the boss. <laughs> obviously, but whenever we, whenever we, me and Regent get paid, obviously it will it will most likely show the deductions going to Amazon. Obviously, so me and Regent collect, um, uh, I don't know, like ten billion dollars, and it says like it says like two point seven billion went to Amazon. Three billion went to Amazon, so Sarah. Three billion dollars went to Amazon. Two point eight billion dollars went to Amazon, and you and VJ got your ten billion. So that's how it works. Yeah. But that's why Amazon's gonna be making a lot of money, man. Obviously, billions. Yeah, man. That's why if you pay a hundred million in a hundred one fifty million immersion, you make you make what? Your billions, you made your money back. That's why you're paying for the merch. And if I'm more, I don't mind paying for the merch. But if you make me pay for the merch, I'm I'm increasing the amount, guys, to like seventy five, even eighty percent, seventy eight percent of something out of the pie. You get twenty percent. You want to be greedy? No, no, no. I will gladly pay for the merch. We're gonna make our money back. You're gonna make your money back. Yeah, so that's a good deal. I don't mind paying a hundred million dollars. It's fucking pocket change. We can easily afford it. We have a huge company. We'll make our billions back. Yeah, you're gonna make your billions back. The merch won't cost you much. It'll cost you maybe a hundred million or something like that. Merch is cheap. Whereas I'm paying a billion bucks for the movie. Compare the a billion dollars I'm paying for the movie to the one hundred million you're paying for the merch. It's a huge difference. Don't pay me on that. Yeah. I could pick up my check tomorrow when I work. No, no, I'll pick it up today. I, I, I want to get food. Today's my cheat day. I want to get my, uh, my, uh, what? My, uh, my food, my donair. I'm going to get donair at Gabriel's tonight. Obviously, I might watch a movie. If Robert doesn't upload anything today, uh, hopefully he doesn't Alan Wake walking, but if he doesn't upload anything today, I might watch Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. I might watch it. I heard that was a really good movie. It made almost a billion dollars, guys, in the box office. It was a huge hit. Huge hit. I think it made like 900, like something million dollars, Oppenheimer. Almost a billion dollars it made. It was, like, it was a very, very big, 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 big movie. Obviously. What movie do you want to see? I want to see Napoleon. Napoleon's the movie I want to see. I want to see that movie so bad. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I might bust to, to Hull. Take a bus and go see Napoleon on theaters. I really want to see that movie. It looks really good. It came out, I think, last week. Last Friday, I think it came out. Yeah. I think, right? I'm not sure. That's how we should be boss, man. It's a good feeling knowing that you're the boss and you're the one paying everyone in your company. You and your wife are paying everyone in your company. You're fucking boss, man. We're funding. We're paying all the bills. We're funding everything. And we're paying, uh, what? Everyone their, their salary for the movie. Obviously. It's a good feeling, obviously, being boss. Even if you own, like, a, a successful restaurant and you're making, like, 80000 a year, it's a good feeling knowing that you're the boss and you're paying everyone their salary. It's a good feeling paying everyone. Your boss, but you're paying the minimum wage, but you're still the boss, man. You're paying everyone. The, 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 you're paying everyone. But for my company, they're all all the guys that are not making minimum wage. They're making like what? They're making uh, rich contracts, obviously, rich salaries. Crewmen are getting one fifty k, one hundred k the third year, fifty k the, the fourth year for working. That's a good paycheck. One hundred k after taxes is sixty thousand dollars, sixty three thousand dollars. A lot of money. And 50k after taxes is like, I don't know, like 30 something thousand, 40,000, about 40,000. I don't know how much it is. It's about 39,000, 40,000, 50,000 after taxes. Good paycheck, the crewman. You feed your family for one year with that money. It's a good paycheck, obviously. It's a 
Sarah. It is a good paycheck. It is a good paycheck, Samsara. Yeah. Well, the Hollywood actors' ages be greedy. Yes, they're all gonna they're all gonna try and push for more money. But I, I have I'm very strict with 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 with. with. And so whenever I do the board meetings with my team, whenever I plan a Scarlet Entertainment with George Lucas, obviously, and the person writes out the four years of Zanus, I'm gonna have someone type out the four years of Zanus. What we have to do. Uh, a, a general idea, a general idea of what we have to do first year, second year, third year. You type it down. It's only a couple pages, and you can have George help you out with that. My George, should I create a salary system? Yeah, I mean, you should create a salary system for your company, and I have the whole salary system plan uh, uh, planned out for my company, obviously. I'm Sarah, the biggest person rising stars don't get royalties. Only the smaller A-listers and the bigger ones get the royalties. Obviously. But the smaller A-listers don't get bonuses. They get a writ salary, but they don't get a bonus. But they get royalties. The bigger ones get, get a writ salary, they also get a big bonus, and they also get royalties. Obviously. But I'll eliminate the post winning bonus. Forget the post winning bonus. You don't have to pay the post winning bonus. That's crazy. Well, your pain is enough. Forget what I said about the pulse wing bonus. I'm not going to pay the bigger aces pulse wing bonus. No. Just pay them a bonus, a rich salary, and they get royalties. You don't have to pay them a pulse bonus. That's it. What's your, what's your paying them is enough? From Sarah. What's your paying them is enough, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Or we'll see. You're gonna pay pay them postal bonus if you want. I mean, but I mean, what well, you're paying is enough. They're making more than enough money, obviously. Only ones who get royalties who are B listers and rising stars is Zanus. The Zanus is a special sort. That's what I'm doing. I want them to work really hard for me. Whereas everything, all the movies after that, they're not getting royalties. They only get their flat salary, their merch money, and they get the side money, and that's it. They don't get any money off the off the off the box office. That's how it works. Sure, I have her.